Welcome to Node.js Web API course. In this course, you will learn by doing. We will put in front of you the most practical experience which you need to build web APIs. Because nowadays, if you want to gain an experience, you have to do it, not only reading a documentation or following some theoretical course. That's why we built this course which will be eShop Web API. We will cover all the information which is needed to create a webshop API. API means application programming interface or in other words the interface which will bring for me data from the database to the user interface and it will be located in a web server where our Node.js application will be hosted and every API is secure so we will learn in this course how to authenticate to these APIs and secure them. We will create all the APIs which are needed for the eShop, like the product and categories, and users, and users logins, and authentication, and user registration, and of course, the orders which the users will place. We will not forget also the file upload and the multiple file uploads, because we will need that for our product images and product gallery. We will use the best tool for building our API, and as a back-end developer, you will see how to test your APIs. Because some tools can provide us full functionality without depending on the front-end and waiting for it to be done. We will use also the right editors and the best extensions to speed up our productivity. And not only that, you will see also how this course is interactive. So we will ask you to solve the tasks and we will review them for you. I hope you will enjoy this course and I am looking forward to work all of us together to build the best API for an eShop. Let's take a look to our RESTful API to see how to exchange data between the client and the server. What is the architecture of RESTful API? We have a client and we have a server and they are exchanging data through HTTP protocol. This is the basic concept of RESTful API. There are also crude operations to create data, read data, update the data, and delete them. These operations can be done through HTTP protocol. There are specific methods of HTTP protocol which doing these operations, which we are calling crude operations. But first, what is the difference between RESTful API and the front-end route? The RESTful API is bringing data. The front-end route is showing the data or rendering a specific page. When you open your browser and put RESTful API link, if you have access to get this data, then you will get a string which consists of JSON or XML file. HTTP protocol is able to render a page with HTML, CSS and bring a data. So, HTTP methods in general, they are get, post, put and delete, which are the crude operations. But in HTTP methods, they are called like this. So, I am sending a request to the database or to the backend in general to get through REST API some data. For example, getting a product list through the API, it will give me array of lists of products. Getting a single product by passing the ID of this product, it will give me JSON file with all detail of the product. When I want to update a product, I send a put request with the ID of the product and also attaching the new data and the response will be the same product but with a different data. And deleting a product is just passing the ID of the product with delete request. Creating a product need to post a new product. So I am using the main route of the API of the products and then I am passing a new data. The data which for example name of the product and the image. And the response will be a new ID with the new name of the product and of course the image. Those are our API requests to get the data or post or delete or update data in the server. 
and I am using API slash v1 which is meaning the version 1 so when you want to update your API in the future you add a new version so the users are still able to use the older versions of your API the same thing for orders and the users so in this case you have all the same sequence but you just need to plan your data right creating a web server with node.js is very simple let's see that in the next lecture